So today I am going to show you how to start the process of teaching a horse how to hobble. Now, like any type of constrictive um, device, whether it's the saddle, a rope, um, anything like that, once again, I think of this as a long-term uh, thing to do. So if I expect this horse to be really quiet and hobbles the first day, they might be. But if they're not, then I might really kind of mess them up in a way that is hard to get them back from. And so obviously I'll want to have a decent amount of control on them, whether it be groundwork, just some respect. Um, I also, before I ever put a set of hobbles on one, I'll definitely have roped all of their feet, their flank, all sorts of different things. And we'll make some videos kind of how to do that. So this is, you know, what I would do if I was first introducing a hobble, okay? What I'm going to do is not even use the hobble at first. I'm going to use the lead line and I'm going to wrap it around the leg and see if she will give her face to her feet, okay? When we rope the feet, some of that was kind of naturally occurring, um, but I'm going to use this to try to get her to connect at least her face and her front feet. In, in reality, she's actually connecting all of them. So when she feels the bind of this on her leg, she'll also feel it on her foot. They'll kind of work together to teach her, okay? So I'm just going to go in front of the leg and then come behind. And I'm going to try to get this not super low, but as low as I can. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure on this, not fast, um, but definitely some. What I want from her is to stand still and drop her head, okay? So she's dropping her head. There, still, okay? Good enough, right there. Okay, so I'll leave her alone. I could go to the other side. So I'm just going to put that pressure on again. She's still and lowers her head. Good. Now she's not really giving that much of a reaction. So I could certainly drill this by pulling faster, but I kind of want to let her know she's doing it right. So I'm just going to put this pressure on. She's going to give, she's backing. That's not the answer. Okay. Being still and giving your face is the answer. There, right there. Okay. So obviously that's working on her head and neck and some different things, but what I want her to understand is constriction will not kill you. There is some relief somewhere. I'm going to try to help you get there. So I would try that on both feet. Okay. Mostly just so that I'm not committed. If she really got bothered and worried by that pressure around her leg and her head combined in there, I can let go. You know, none of this is going to be so absolute that I can't get her out of it. Okay. So here's this pressure. What I want is for her to stand still and lower her head. Now she gives her foot in, in the meantime, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more pressure on, see how she stands still. She's not feeling that and trying to back. She's not picking her foot up and hopping. So this tells me she understands some constriction, very unnatural, but she'll cope with it. So then I'm gonna use the first type of hobble, which is a piece of cotton rope. And honestly, you'll definitely want it to be longer than you think, um, just so you don't have to kind of compromise the wrap that you put on their, their legs. So this is six feet. It's probably eight and a half, nine feet, okay? I think when you get to 12 feet, you're probably too long. So try to stay in that eight to 10 foot region, okay? So I'm gonna put this on her from the start and we're just gonna see what happens. The goal, the thing that I'm looking for her to know that she's right is if I put it on, she puts constriction on herself and relaxes, then I take it off. Now, if she were to really get bothered and worried, if I feel like it's necessary, I will pop it off at that time. I don't want to go there first because I really do want her to realize that she can't get away from the constriction. She's got to find where I'm telling her to be in that constriction, okay? So just like when we put the saddle on, I mean, she doesn't get the option. It's going to be on there, okay? So these are very unnatural things to do to a horse, but that's why I like to have a lot of grace. So to try to stay safe, I feel like I've roped her feet. They feel good. I've done that constriction uh, exercise with her face. Now I'm just going to put these on so I feel pretty safe. So I'm going to go to this opposite side, go through the legs. And this method, as far as how to tie this up, is not original. Absolutely nothing on this channel is original. This is all I have learned from different videos and people. This is kind of how Pat Puckett does it. So if you want more explanation of that, definitely go to his channel. He's got some great stuff there. So what we'll do is we'll go through there, and we're going to cross this two or three times, okay? We don't want it to be too long, so three is probably pretty good. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to hold the lead rope and just come right here, okay? If I want to have a middle check, I'm just going to pick up and pull on this and just see what happens. This is very similar to what she'll feel. What I want her to do is shift her weight, feel that, and put her foot back down. So I feel pretty safe with that, okay? Now I'm going to go around the front and all the way back around, and I'm just going to tie a square knot that's got a bow in it or a slip in it. That way, even if right now we're committed, if I pull that one side, I can get her free. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try not to add any pressure. I don't want to teach her necessarily to move in hobbles ever. If she were to get really bothered and worried, in theory, I'd want her to disengage her hindquarters 
and, and find some relief there, not try to hop or do anything. But usually this is kind of what I do. If I, if she stands there and does absolutely nothing or licks her lips or does something, in my opinion, that's calming, I'll just take them off. We'll work on another day because this is so unnatural. I want to just take my time. Okay. Obviously she hasn't tried these hobbles at all. Okay. The very first time you do it, if you're kind of, you know, worried about them, take your saddle off. You'll definitely not want to ruin a saddle over this. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some pressure on her just to see if she'll shift her weight, see her knee buckle and drop. This would be when I would go and take it off. So I'll try it again, just so you can see. She understands. They're tied. They're stuck there. Okay. So what I like to do once I feel like they understand the concept, they're not perfect, then I'm only going to do this the same way when I would, you know, loosen a cinch, basically like as an event marker. She'll know that when I put the hobbles on, we're either done for the day or whatever I'm asking of her is pretty low key. So for a long time, what I do when I saddle them, when I brush them, I hobble them. Okay. Now, if she were to get bothered, I take the hobbles off, but I hobble while I brush and she just goes mindless. Okay. And then when I go to bring the saddle out, I take them off. And then eventually I'll do the whole saddling process besides tightening the cinch hobbled. Then I take them off, do my day. And then the only other time I put them back on is when I'm loosening that cinch. And so she'll start to associate like hobbles. There's no pressure. He's not asking anything of me. So not only is this pretty easy to do, but I mean, honestly, my brain can clock out. I want her honestly to, to feel these and just shut off. And so that's how I start that. So the very first time we put hobbles on, they're probably only going to be on there for seconds and that's okay. But I definitely want to make sure that she feels the constriction and that they're not just on there. So I'll just move her so you can see this again. She buckled her knee, knew she couldn't pick it up. So then I would just take this one side, pop it off. Okay. Undo it. And leave her alone. Okay. So hobbling is one of those things that, in my opinion, it should take as long as it takes. Um, really have a very long-term goal. If this is a horse that you're not going to own for a long time, maybe do some of it. Don't do all of it. It's better if you give them a good foundation on a little bit than hobble them and you know throw them out to graze and they learn to run in hobbles or you tie them all day with hobbles and they get bothered by it. So hobbling is definitely one of those things that I think really matures a horse and is something that every, every good using horse should know. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.